Kia ora koutou. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this morning, uh, the National Party caucus had a vote of no confidence in Judith Collins. In large part, it was due to a press release uh, around me uh, issued last night that just wasn't correct. Uh, I want to let you know uh, what happened. Uh, five or six years ago, the National Party caucus had a full day at Premier House. Uh, at lunchtime, uh, I was out talking with uh, a number of members of parliament, uh, and at some point, uh, Jackie Dean uh, joined that. Uh, we discussed uh, our, our wives, our, our children. Uh, I can remember talking about the fact I have two boys and uh, I wanted a girl, and I engaged in some old wives' tales uh, about that and how to have uh, a girl. And I entirely accept and regretful of that day because I acknowledge that some of what I said was clearly inappropriate. Uh, sometime uh, after that, uh, Bill English, who at that time was Deputy Prime Minister, uh, called, called me into his office and discussed this. Uh, he made clear that Jackie Dean uh, was offended, and deeply offended by what had been said. Uh, I was uh, unaware of that, but very regretful, and apologised uh, for that, and learned a val you know, valuable lesson at that time. I then went and apologised fulsomely to Jackie Dean and she accepted that uh, apology. Um, I regret what I said. Uh, I wasn't aware of its impact on Jackie. Now I have certainly been made aware of its significant effect, and that's a really, as I say, valuable lesson for uh, me. I share her desire uh, for a modern, uh, inclusive workplace and work environment. And again, I've today offered her uh, my apology for what happened uh, several uh, years uh, ago. On that note, I'm very happy to answer any questions. I don't, I don't think it's helpful uh, to give you the, the words, uh, but there's been media uh, comment, and yeah, it's pretty much on the money. I recognise it was inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know I'd go that far. Um, I think what I would say is, you know, it's been a tough time. Uh, we had a poor election, and I think we've lost a bit of sight of where we are uh, at. I think National is at its best when it's focused on what's ma what matters and solutions, and they are around where we're going with a vaccinated economy, how that's going to look in terms of debt and inflation, these big issues facing New Zealand's health, education, uh, housing. We haven't done, I don't think, a good enough job on that, and that's not to knock individual spokespersons, people, but we need to, we need to go there. Uh, I, I, I haven't decided that. Um, I, I want to consider that over the next day or two. Um, I think, uh, and today in particular, I'm uh, an older, um, possibly wiser, guy than I was uh, certainly five or six years ago, but even a couple of years ago when I was leader of the National Party. Um, so that's something I'm going to consider. Do you think the other side of the motivation behind sending that press release was? Well, I, I made that clear uh, this morning, um, which was said it was a desperate move. Um, I stand by that. That's my view. Um, and, you know, she shouldn't have sent out that press release. Um, I think there's no doubt we're in a situation where the polls tell a story, uh, where uh, for many years nationals polling uh, and support from New Zealanders always had a four, sometimes even a five on it. Uh, at the moment we're not breaking a three. And you know, I think um, the buck stops on that. Yes, it's a team issue, but with the leader. How likely will the I'm considering uh, this. Uh, I, I, the yeah, reality is, um, despite the media uh, commentary, um, there wasn't a vacancy. Um, I was, I was genuine. I was genuine in my uh, in my clear statements to you and to others about not having an intention to stand uh, where things were at. That's changed. I'm going to consider it. I do think I'm older and a, a bit wiser. Um, I do I think I have a sense of what New Zealand needs at this time. But um, let's let's think that through. I'm going. I'm going to think that through over the next day. <laughs> That's my understanding, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to characterise that. Uh, Jackie has made a statement, and I don't think it's for me to um, 
to get into that. Are you Richard? I've made it clear this morning, uh, both in my brief comments to the media really and, um, and uh, elsewhere, that I didn't have confidence in Judith Collins. Um, I, I was, um, let's put it euphemistically, very unhappy with the press release last, last night. And uh, in the end, those are matters for her. I, I will acknowledge that uh, Judith has uh, and did take over the National Party at a difficult time in the age of COVID. And she has been responsible for some rebuilding uh, of the National Party that will be helpful uh, to the team uh, in the future. Would you work with her? What would you say about the state of the National Party if you were rolled as leader and then possibly come back as leader? Uh, well, there's a few examples of that uh, around the world. I'm not suggesting that's necessarily going to happen. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've only had a vacancy uh, this morning. I I'm being as upfront I can as I can, which is that I'm going to consider uh, it over the next day or two. Um, look, I, I can work with anyone, um, I, I think, within reason. I could work with um, various coalition partners, uh, if, if that was the privilege that National had, and we, we don't, we're, we're a wee way from that at this time, um, and I could work with all of my caucus colleagues. Yep. How do you think Judith Collins' tenure as leader will be remembered? Um, look, I think it will be remembered as a difficult time, um, as a time we perhaps weren't as on top of the issues that mattered to New Zealand's and the solution, solutions as perhaps we could have been, but it was also a time of rebuilding, and you know, Judith deserves some credit for that. Um, well, I was surprised. Um, there had been a, a very brief, very poor process from Judith Collins, where I had not been informed of what the actual matter was. And so when that press release came out, as I say, to say the least, I was very surprised. <laughs> That, that's not my understanding. My understanding is that uh, effectively they considered it as a matter for the leader of the National Party. It wasn't one they had a position on. I'll take a couple more. I'll go to Jenna and then Jane. I, I'm not going to get into characterising discussions, Jane. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get into characterising discussions with colleagues. Private discussions stay private. Jane. I'm, I'm not going to characterise discussions. What, what is absolutely true, though, is I had, um, before the press release, um, no knowledge of the specific uh, matters uh, that Judith Collins um, had been talking about. That said, let me be, let me be very clear. I've, I've told you what happened, um, and I'm regretful about that. I've apologised uh, now to Jackie Dean um, a, a number of times, and I'm sincere in those apologies. Jane. I don't think it's helpful to go through the, the minute details. The reality is that would take me a little bit of time uh, to do, but I've made quite clear to you, I thought it was a poor process. I thought it lacked any sort of due process uh, coming from a lawyer. Uh, and uh, I thought that, and I was surprised uh, when uh, the press release came out. You know, uh, given where things are at, uh, we're in a situation where uh, the leader of the National Party this morning was Judith Collins, isn't. We've had a vote of no confidence. We're now in a process of thinking that through and how we best position for New Zealanders in the future. I'm not going to kind of um, ply over old, old dead wood, if you like, or material. Um, I, I want to leave that where it is, frankly. <laughs> Look, I've answered that, and uh, yeah, pretty clearly. You are sounding very measured and quite leaderly. What should we bring up to that? Well, I'm glad you say so. Uh, but if I can say, um, you know, I've been the leader of the National Party. We all know that. It's a tough job. And I acknowledge, um, although we had many, many differences, Judith Collins, in doing that role and giving it uh, her all. Um, I, I do think I've learnt for it. 
but I do know the toll it takes. And I do know that National's building off a very low base. Um, on the recent polls, um, there is a huge amount of work to do for whoever becomes uh, the leader of the National Party. I'm going to take one more from Luke, and then I'm going to leave it. Luke. It's been a very difficult period. They've had very difficult uh, issues. I think it is true that, in terms of the president, some of those issues um, haven't had, or we've repeated mistakes a number of times. Um, at the end of the day, I am not today the leader of the National Party. Um, and I think the new leader of the National Party will have to think through uh, how they best deal with the board uh, and the current president. Thanks very much. Thank you.